You are probably aware that traveling between Spain's main tourist destinations at high speed is very comfortable as well as being a delight. But perhaps you are wondering how far can you travel by high speed train? In today's video, we've racked our brains to bring you up to date on the Spanish high speed train network. The information train is entering the station. Hello, I am Tony Galvez from Road Trips Spain and Portugal on Travel Guides Spain and Portugal, where we help you plan the perfect trip with practical information, insider tips, and our very own travel guides. The Spanish high speed network is quite extensive and constantly expanding, and it was time to update the video in which we talked about the high speed lines and the cities where the fast trains arrive. Everything we are going to describe in the video corresponds to the situation at the end of January 2024, when we are recording this program. Let's go to the map. For better or for worse, the Spanish high-speed network is radio, and most routes today start or end in Madrid. To better understand the structure of this network, imagine that the country is divided into four quadrants. Each of them is served by what we call here a corridor, which starts from Madrid in the direction of that part of Spain. It is not possible to go from one quadrant to another without passing through Madrid. We will now look at the high-speed lines in each corridor and the services that run along them. A clarification, when we say that an operator serves a specific city, it does not mean that all its trains stop in that city. It means that at least one service per day stops at that station. Not all trains stop at all stations. Let's look first at the Northeast Corridor, formed by the high-speed line that departs from Atoche station in Madrid, passes through Barcelona and continues on its way to France. Renfe and its Aves serve all the stations along the route. It is also the only operator that currently has direct connections with France. In second place, and in order of seniority on the route, is the French low-cost operator Wigo, which travels from Madrid to Barcelona, stopping in Zaragoza and Tarragona. The third operator on the corridor is Ablo, Renfe's low-cost service. It runs between Madrid and Figueres without reaching France, and stops at all stations along the line. Finally, the Spanish-Italian operator Irio travels from Madrid to Barcelona, stopping at Zaragoza and Tarragona. The Eastern Corridor departs from Chamartín Station in Madrid in the direction of destinations in the Valencian community and the region of Murcia. It is aligned with a common stretch going after Cuenca, which then splits, with one line going to Valencian Castellón and another one to Alicante, Orihuela and Murcia. Renfe operates an AVE service that runs from Madrid to Valencia and in some schedules continues to Castellón de la Plana. Another AVE service runs from Madrid to Alicante and a third service goes the whole way to Murcia. Ablo, Renfe's low-cost brand, travels to Valencia with stops in Cuenca and Requena Utiel. It also goes to Murcia with stops in Cuenca, Albacete, Villena, Alicante, Elche and Orihuela. Lots of stops, a slower travel time. The other low-cost operator, Wigo, operates a direct service between Madrid and Valencia and a service between Madrid and Alicante with a stop in Alicante. Albacete. Finally, Irio runs from Madrid to Valencia and to Alicante, stopping on the way at the stations of Cuenca and Albacete. The third corridor, and we are going clockwise, is the Corredor Sur, which connects Atocha Station in Madrid with Andalusia. Renfe's AVE trains travel to Córdoba, stopping on the way in Ciudad Real or Puerto Llano. On leaving Córdoba, their routes separate depending on the destination. One line continues to Seville, another line continues to Málaga, and a third line visits 
visits the magical Granada. Ablo, Renfe's local service, operates a line to Seville, incorporating Villanueva de Cordoba station and another line to Malaga. Finally, Irio has a service from Madrid to Seville, stopping in Cordoba, and another service from Madrid to Malaga, also stopping in Antequera, Santa Ana. Wigo intends to start operating routes to Seville and Malaga in the second half of 2024, but nothing has been confirmed so far. Finally, the Atlantic Corridor connects Madrid with Castilla y León, Galicia and Asturias in northern Spain. All trains running on the corridor depart from Chamartín station in Madrid. Renfe uses Aves and Albias, two different types of high-speed trains, to connect Madrid and Galicia with stops in, among other places, Zamora before reaching Orense. From Orense it is possible to connect with the high-speed lines running through Galicia. A second line passes through Segovia, Valladolid, Palencia and León until it reaches Oviedo and Gijón in the region of Asturias. If you only want to go to León, you can go by Ave. If you want to go to Oviedo or Gijón, you can take an Albia. Finally, there is an Ave from Madrid to Burgos. In 2024, at a date yet to be confirmed, we should see the low-cost Avlos running on the corridor, as well as maybe some Irio trains. Let's go now to a general map of Spain to start a section dedicated to clarifications and frequent questions. We must first talk about a high-speed line that does not belong to any of the aforementioned corridors, but it's a bit independent, being connected only with Madrid, and which leads to Toledo, which is very important for those who are going to do tourism in Spain. The Toledo line connects exclusively with Madrid. Also applying the same criteria of tourist interest, we would like to mention extensions of high-speed lines that are not strictly speaking high-speed, but which allow you to reach destinations such as Salamanca in Castile and León, Huesca in Aragon or Cadiz in Andalusia, embarking on a high-speed train in Madrid. You may be wondering if there is any interconnection between the four high-speed corridors, if it is possible to travel from one end of a corridor to the other end of the corridor without having to change trains in Madrid. And yes, there are such interconnections and a new one is appearing every day. Right now, Renfe operates direct Aves between Barcelona and Andalusia without stopping in Madrid and with final destination in Seville, Malaga and Granada. It also operates direct Alvias from Gijón via Madrid to Valencia, Castellón and Alicante. There is an AVE train that departs from Burgos, passes through Madrid and has Valencia as its destination. There is another AVE that departs from León, passes through Madrid and has Alicante as its destination. There is also a direct AVE that does not stop in Madrid and connects Valencia and Seville. Finally, the operator IRIO has a direct connection between Barcelona and Seville, which, unlike the Renfe trains, which do not stop in Madrid, has a stop at Atoche station, but you don't need to change trains. Let's take a look at some frequently asked questions. What about Portugal? The map makes it clear there is no high-speed connection between Spain and Portugal, and regardless of what you read or hear in the clickbaiting press on YouTube channels, there is no forecast for a connection in the short or medium term. If you want to know more details, be sure to watch the video in which we present the main ways to travel between the two countries. Another question, is there no high-speed train to the Basque country? No there is not. Believe us, if there was, we would have put it on the map. Right now, work is underway on the gigantic infrastructure project that will bring the high-speed train to the Basque country, including the so-called Basque Y, Y Basca, which will link the three Basque capitals and connect with a high-speed line from Burgos and continue to France. But the project is not expected to be finished within this decade. Another 
other classic question. Is there no high speed line between Barcelona and Valencia? And the answer is no, there is not. Work is being done on the line, which is part of what is known as the Mediterranean Corridor. But for the moment, there is no forecast of when there will be a high speed train between the two cities. But you can travel between Barcelona and Valencia by train. It is not a high speed train, but it is not a slow train either. Here on the channel, we've talked a lot about the high speed train in Spain, and we want to recommend three basic videos to make your trips even better. In the first video, we share 10 basic tips to improve your experience on the high speed train. In the second video, we explain step by step what a high speed train journey is like. And in the third video, we present you a tool to consult and buy your high speed train tickets, a website that simultaneously consults all high speed train operators in Spain. Very convenient. I'm sure you have many other questions, so as always, take advantage of the commentary box to ask. Remember that this is not a video for train professionals, but for tourists who are thinking about traveling by train in Spain. For that reason, for example, we have not mentioned every single station along the lines, just the most important ones. You will now see on the screen a list of all the videos we have already published on the channel about the high-speed train, including reviews of the AVE, the AVLO, the IRIO and the WIGO services. Take a look, we are waiting for you in those videos.